This is episode 348, recorded May 20th, 2016. Packard pokes at Pat Robertson sips Satan's milky goodness. I want to thank Doc and Stog from the chat room for this week's show title. You can help support and promote the show by purchasing our merchandise at cafepress.com slash Packard Pokes at, where you can choose from a variety of different items like hoodies, hats, and bears. Oh my! Put a Packard Pokes at mug in your hands today. Do you like Packard Pokes at and want to hear it on demand and on the go? Download the free app today at Stitcher.com. Available on iOS, Android, Nook, and iPad. This is Packard Pokesat, and I'm poking at your news. Your news. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another fine edition of Packard Pokesat. I am your immutable and unmutable host, Packard Sonic. And joining me tonight from the far west coast is Connie Practical Magic 9. Hello, hello. Yeah, I believe it's already like halfway th- over halfway through May. We're almost up to June. I know, right? the the ha- The year is like almost half over now. <laughs> you know, okay. they should start the new year at the start of summer. That would make a lot more sense. <laughs> 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 or at least so, in the springtime. Talk about the weather. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, at least in no. the springtime. <laughs> this is true. It's been it's been gorgeous out there. Yes. Yeah, well, we've had we've had a bit of rain off and on, but it's the, the, my daughter and I, uh, who just got back from her uh, college for the summer break, we were out walking today, and the trees are just blooming like crazy. I haven't seen them bloom like this in a long time. So it, it's awesome. yeah, it's it's very pretty out here right now. I, I've I haven't seen it this pretty in a long time. But uh, you didn't come uh, hear us talk about uh, our <laughs> the weather, the weather, and, and uh, other. <laughs> non-essential things you can't hear hear us talk about the news and and stories and and all that fun happy horse shit so all the fucktards <laughs> and all the fucktards <laughs> oh we have got a slew we we've got a good slew of fucktards tonight but uh yeah. and, and, and well good guy and one yeah. good guy so yep. so that we don't get to talk about very often This political season has been extremely interesting. I haven't seen a political climate like this in a very long time. Actually, the last time anything that happened like this, I think, happened before I was old enough to vote. We had this political season, we had like 27 uh, billion, I don't know what it was. (laughs) They were just running for the Republican (laughs) side alone. And then it was just one person who was running for the Democratic nomination, and then it was uh, two, and then it was three, and now it's back down to two again. And then the field narrowed, finally, on the Republican side, down to Donald Trump. <laughs> that, that was completely – it was completely unexpected. Is this one of those lucid dreams? I, I think I've stepped through the the looking glass. I I, I keep going to tap. I go to my mirror. I tap on it, make sure I didn't step in a hole or something. See that signpost up ahead? You're entering the twilight zone. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. She, this <laughs> this has been very an inch, This has been a very interesting election year. However, yep. out in California, they will have another very interesting uh, election that's going out there. Steve Hill is running for office for the California's 21st district out there. And that's, you know, very interesting in itself. But what does that have to do with this, you know, the, this atheist-related show? A lot, actually, because he is a Satanist and an atheist. Now, he does not believe in the devil, but he is an atheist. He says, I'm a Satanist as far as trying to get people to understand that I don't believe in the devil any more than I believe in God. He said this in an interview. All of it's stupid. But if I have to tell people I'm the devil to get them to listen, then, okay, I'm the devil. <laughs> this is, now, yes. now this, what's interesting here is he also works as a stand-up comedian in, in Los Angeles, is currently helping an organization of the L.A. chapter of the Satanic Temple, a nationwide satanic activities organization, 
Hill said he identifies with the temple's mission, which he describes as a humanist approach that raises levels of consciousness. I don't go and worship Satan and pour milk on me. Well, I don't even know idea what that even means. I wasn't aware that that was a thing. <laughs> I, yeah, neither did I. Uh, but he, he goes on to say, but Satanism would uh, influence me greatly because I, I could deal from a different perspective as a regular human being. I, I don't get the poor Satan milk on it. I mean, you know. I think I, that's his comedian coming out. That's got to be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the last few years, the Satanic Temple has tried to push – uh, Satanism away from its perception of the devil worship into and into politics. And the Satanist groups out there have been doing a bang-up job yes. of dealing with the political right and the Republicans out there who are just like, we want to put up the Ten Commandments on the front lawn of the courthouse or whatever, and we want to have every judge in there have the Ten Commandments stamped right on his forehead or something, you know. <laughs> Whatever they want to come up with. I'm, just, I'm not suggesting that they do that. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> yeah. it, it, this is just some kind of they're, – they're doing a lot of crazy-ass bullshit. Anyway, in the last few years, the Satanic Temple has tried to push that away. Uh, the group says its mission is to encourage benevolence and empathy. Oh, no. Fuck. <laughs> benevolence and empathy. <laughs> think the, of the, the children. Think of the children. <laughs> <laughs> benevolence and, <laughs> and and empathy for your fellow man. No. Anyway, uh, while well, society is a t- satanic imagery to further its goals, Hill says he reconciles his atheism with Satanism by not believing in any sort of deity or otherwise presence instead of adheres to the satanic temple's goals like keeping church and state separate. Kind of your thoughts. Yeah, he's having to explain this to everybody else, but we've we, we've reported enough about the sat, the sat, satanic temple to know that yeah they're atheists they mm-hmm. don't actually believe in a you know they worship a devil. Um, unfortunately, even though he is a Democrat, mm-hmm. uh, he only has roughly a hundred dollars in his campaign account, and he's been essentially abandoned by the Democratic Party. He's yeah. really too controversial for them. He might have to run. As an independent, I want to put out there that he has a Facebook. It's called uh, Steve Hill for sa- State Senate, and uh, he has a – and that links also to his web page. Mm-hmm. And he does have a donation page, so if we're reaching anybody who would like to support him, uh, it also – and his web page also talks about his platform, which is really stellar education. Mm-hmm. He thinks he wants to make – good education achievable and he says there's too much bloat at the top end of the department of education yeah and uh incarceration he uh, he says that sending anyone to jail or even bogging down the judicial system with unnecessary and harmful social policies has been running amok for too long and he wants to end the war on citizens and end the failed war on drugs right start treating people for their mental health drug addictions or social ills instead of using the jails yeah uh and then jobs he wants to see a healthy job economy uh his his platform is really really good and uh real likable guy uh, yeah and I, I guess too 21st district palmdale is a actually a very conservative uh, place in California, so he's he's got a lot of uphill battle to go here, but I really hope he'll make it, and I I'm really encouraged to see him come out and uh, about all these things. Yeah. Oh, he's next Marine too. Yep. Uh, now, so now there was yeah. some one other thing here is that he's not the only atheist that would be running. Pete Stark was uh, in the California's 13th district. And he was in there for a very long time. But he was the only open atheist that was in the Congress anyway. I found out, though, I did a little research. He was not the only atheist that was one of our political people in Congress. There was quite a number of other ones. Rocky Anderson from 1951 to 2012, justice presidential candidate, former mayor of Salt Lake City in Utah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Wow. That? Yeah, can you imagine that? An atheist running the <laughs> beam mayor. Of State Before Long the City. internet, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Charles D. T. Beard. Now get this one. He was from uh, 1922 to 2006. He was a Republican member party. That's that. The, that was that kind of. I saw that. And I was like, wow, a Republican atheist. That's 
you know, those, those, it's not impossible to be a Republican atheist, but why would you want to be? <laughs> the Republican Party, in all fairness, has undergone quite a social shift. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Evangelical and um, uh, more forward movements of Christianity have mm-hmm. really kind of taken it over. Yeah. Uh, so Another one here, Cecil Bothwell, Asheville, North Carolina City Council member, who was nearly denied his position because of his atheism. North Carolina? Yeah, North Carolina. Oh, Imagine geez. that. Yeah. <laughs> so there, there's a number of them here, but like, as I said here, that uh, uh, Pete Stark was the only was represented from 1973 to 2013. I'm sorry, a couple of years ago back, he was in Congress for a very long time. Forty forty years. Yep. yep. Wow. So yeah, that's it, that. I, I was shocked when I read that. I was like, wow. Uh, do you have any additional thoughts on that, Connie? Actually, just talking about. 40 years, I, I t- sometimes think that we need term limits on Congress. Yeah, I, I, I kind of agree. We do need term limits. We should have term limits on them as well, I think. Yeah. I mean, it varies from state to state. Some some states have term limits just for their governorship. It's it's, uh, it's one time and you're out. You don't, you don't get, you don't, there's no do-overs, you know. And, I uh, think that a really good uh, state government, governor uh, probably should get at least two mm-hmm. uh i don't know sometimes if you're trying to get something done it takes more than a a four-year term yeah but, um, well, it depends if it is four years or not i i, I guess it true. all depends on how long their term is i mean here, the term here it's is four but it, it's i guess some places it, it might be six i'm trying to remember I'm, yeah it, it varies from uh, so. state to state as well i mean yep. none of that is shit is nailed down it, it, it it's all so fucking fluid it's not it's so it's 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 so weird. Teach me how to be sensible, logical, or responsible, and tonight we have our logic game. Connie, are you ready to test your logic? Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Our question tonight is, after legalizing gay marriage, school libraries were required to stock same-sex literature, Primary schools were given homosexual fairy stories and even given manuals or explicit homosexual advocacy. Is this A, misleading vividness, B, unfalsifiability, C, appeal to spite, or D, appeal to pity? I never even heard of A. It wouldn't be B because you could prove that one way or another. Uh, It sounds like C. It sounds like it would be an appeal to spite. Okay. I'm going to say C. Okay, you're saying C. Yes. Uh, what does our audience in the chat room say who are probably quickly Googling this right now? <laughs> Dawkins dog wouldn't do that. <laughs> He'd been very, very quiet. <laughs> Dawkins is saying A. He's in conflict with you, Connie. Okay. All righty. Well, well let's, see. Wrong, let's see what the answer is. The answer is A, describing the occurrence in vivid detail, even if it is a rare occurrence, to convince someone that it is a problem. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Dawkins says, I didn't Google it. I guessed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a good guesser. You're a damn good Dawkins. guesser, Dawkins Dog. You're a damn good guesser. You, you use logic to deduce from the... From the uh, fallacies, the, the, the name, logic of right? guessing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> an educated, educated guess, educated guess. You, you Dawkins, Dawkins, damage. <laughs> yeah, he said no logic, just luck. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Okay. Yes. Cool. It, I never it, heard of that one. Before. Yeah, it, it's very interesting. It's basically you, you've set up a straw. It's almost like setting up a straw man. Yeah. Contact us by email at ppappodcast at gmail.com or on Twitter as at PackardPokesat. Like us on Facebook.com slash PackardPokesat. Call our Google Voice and leave a message at 662-709-PPAP or 662-709-7727 and we will respond to it on the show. Friday nights at 9 p.m. Central Time. Join us live at onlive.tv slash Packard Folkset. During the show, you can share your thoughts with us by calling 857-216-3200. 
using PIN number 35368 or on uberconference.com slash PackardPokesAt. For links to the stories, visit our show page at PackardPokesAt.wordpress.com. You can help support the show by purchasing merchandise from CafePress.com slash PackardPokesAt or make a donation to the show at Patreon.com slash PackardPokesAt. If you can't afford any money, why not share the show with your friends and rate us on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Spreaker, and on YouTube. For everyone that shares and rates us, you kick ass. The Atheists, The Bible, and No Wardrobe, The Podcast. Wait a minute. No wardrobe? You mean we're going to be naked while we do this? Well, seeing how I'm an atheist and I'm reading the Bible, and since clothes are flammable... Fire! 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 I thought it might be a good idea to take them all off first. (laughs) Naked or not, follow along as we read, analyze, and try to keep you from falling asleep as we go through this boring-ass book. Find us on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spreaker. Who knows? We may even be on YouTube someday. And be sure to check out our secondary podcast, The Atheist, The Bible, No Wardrobe. We're having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> yes, we are. Because we're not reading it all by ourselves. No. It's <laughs> reading the goddamn Bible by yourself has got to be the fucking most boring thing. It's got to be the worst thing to do is because you, you could fill your head with all kinds of things and without talking to somebody else through it you know, with and through a skeptical eye. Friends don't let friends read the Bible alone. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Make a meme for them. <laughs> Somebody get on that. Make a meme. Don't know much about history. Don't know much biology. Don't know much about science. And tonight we have the Crypt Keeper on with us tonight. <laughs> oh, yay! That sounds fun. It does sound fun until you find out it's Pat fucking Robertson. Oh shit! <laughs> wow. Well, so okay. he's been going off on stupid <laughs> shit again. Where, of course, every time this guy opens his mouth, it just stupidity just falls right out. Can so, he just go off on a long walk on a short pier and do us all a favor? Yeah, I, I'd like him to take a long walk off a short planet, actually. <laughs> To be honest, yep. we're going to show you that clip right now. You know, the truth is, from what we understand in history, there hasn't been one nation in the history of the world that has openly embraced homosexual uh, lifestyle and begun to practice the homosexual lifestyle uh, that has endured. Every one of them has gone down, every single one of them. Once rampant right homosexuality takes place, then people don't take care of their children. They, they aren't concerned about the next generation. They're concerned about physical uh, pleasure and, and uh, the activities surrounding this lifestyle. And they, they aren't planning for the future, and the, the country goes to, to pot. Right now, it's, it's you know, kind of in the balance. It's kind of interesting. But the fact that the European Union and the U.S. are trying to impose this lifestyle on a little country like Georgia that wants to stay orthodox is it's incredible. But, uh, you know, you, you look at the book of Revelation and it says, Mystery, uh, Mother of Harlots, uh, you have made the world drunk with the wine of your fornication. And, you know, you, you say, well, who is that mystery woman. Well, more and more, this great nation of ours, the U.S. of A., is becoming uh, to take on that role. I don't know if we intend to, but that's what's happening. We're making the nations drunk with the wine of our fornication. And uh, God brings judgment on the country that does that. Oh, God, what a fucking piece of shit. (laughs) They just can't let it go. They just can't. Gays exist. Oh, therefore, we have to persecute them at every turn. Yeah. I hate I hate people like him. I really hate people like him. 
I just want to, I have the transcript of what he fucking says. He goes, the truth is, well, of course, he doesn't know what the fucking truth is. If he came up and shook his hand or bit him in the ass. He says he we're doesn't un- know what facts are, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't understand what facts are. He says, there hasn't been a nation in history that's openly embraced homosexual lifestyles begin to practice that one has endured. And every one of them has gone down. Okay, fucking Pat, you, you don't realize this, but every civilization that has ever been around has gone away at some point. No, None of them last forever. Just because we've been around for 200 years, that's a drop in the bucket. The Roman Empire, which is one of the ones that practiced homosexuality until, uh, or they didn't practice, they it, it was a thing, you know, it wasn't a big deal, until Emperor Constantine got in there, and then shortly thereafter, once Christianity took over, that's when the empire fell. Okay, so, yep. so the reason this particular empire fell because of Christianity should be a good reason to maybe get rid of Christianity, not rid of homosexuality, because homosexuality doesn't hurt anybody. It really doesn't. If you're gay, there's nothing wrong with that. You you, you love who you love. I mean, it doesn't bother me. It's not going to take away from somebody else's marriage. I mean, unless the other person is struggling and they just got married because they that's what they're expected. If but, homosexuality affects your marriage, then one of you is gay. <laughs> exactly. The Roman <laughs> Empire lasted for over 507 years. I mean, we're not even quite to the halfway mark on this. I'd like to see what this country is in 500 years if it lasts that long. And just because a country doesn't last, it has nothing to do with the homosexuality. I mean, it's mm-hmm. correlation doesn't equal causation and fallacy in this. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, something like that. It, it's it's so <laughs> stupid. Yeah. And, and One thing doesn't automatically lead to the other. It exactly. Doesn't, it doesn't mean, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the, uh, another big one was Japan. That was I, I, that one lasted a, a long time as well. So that that one uh, ended because of uh, WW2, really. So. Oh, yeah. They were um, trying to adopt Americanized views mm-hmm. on uh, homos on sexuality and it's it was actually an interesting read in this article that i i shared with you we mm-hmm. were reading it and it, be, it you know it all began with greece and greece wasn't so much conquered as it was absorbed right. and uh it wasn't because of homosexuality right at all you know what what really blows me away about pat robertson is he's been saying this since the 70s when i first yep. started listening to the show i think i was still in high school i'd be homesick for a day and i'd watch the show Mm -hmm. and uh yeah he's and he has uh phrased and crafted his phrases like everybody else does uh, who Mm -hmm. rails against homosexuality that you know begun practicing the homosexual lifestyle uh not acknowledging that this is actually a valid way for somebody to be it's like right. no you're throwing on a, a coat it, this is an affectation mm-hmm. it's not reality right and it, how offensive is this man he his he doesn't care about it being he, offensive he doesn't yeah. care about being offensive no. one of the one of the things is he's reading from the book of revelations a a, a book that was written by somebody <laughs> who was probably doped up on something he was yeah he was uh, alone on an island and he was kind of cuckoo yeah and yeah, they think this is, and they think stuff. this is a good thing, which it's, is really uh, weird. And he thinks that yeah. God's going to come down and destroy the United States because homosexuals exist in the United States. Hey, fucker, homosexuals have existed in this country since probably since the founding. Guess what? We still haven't gone away. Where's your God? Where is your God? Oh, he's coming. I, I seriously doubt that. Your God does not exist, asshole. Your God just does not fucking exist. He's. Uh, it's interesting that he always relates homosexuality to sex. Yeah. And deba- and debauchery too. It's all about lust and sex. You can't. They can't have a normal feeling. He says that they couldn't be good parents. I'm going. When the hell have they? Other than being closeted, uh, when were they able to be? parents right you know um up until just recently so i don't know where he's drawing where he's pulling that stat out of his ass oh, they, they've been pulling that stat out for a while there there was a fight back in um minnesota the next state over al franken was going was being was in congress at that point there i think he still is and they had some anti-homosexual 
bigots that came in to try to push, make sure that uh, uh, homosexuals could not adopt or something along those lines. And they Mm -hmm. say, well, there's data that says homosexuals do a really bad job. And he's like, where did you get this data from? And they they couldn't come up with their answer. And the the answers that they did have were just to their own bigotry website, which they pretty much wrote up themselves. And all the correlated data that they have that they did find showed that homosexual parents are just as good, if not better, than heterosexual parents. The fact is that uh, one parent is a male and one is a female. It doesn't matter as long as there are two parents there. Sometimes, if hey, if you're in the, into this particular lifestyle, if you have three parents there, all the better. I mean, the, it's there's an old saying: it takes a village to raise a child. If your village is of two parents of the same gender, or maybe three, I don't know. It depends. <laughs> I, or like our biblical examples yep. of of uh, Jacob, who had two wives, and his wives. Uh, Slaves, the handmaidens were also his wives, so he had four. Yeah, Dawkins dog in the <laughs> chat room says uh, Pat Robertson. When his mother gave birth, she didn't push; she pinched off. <laughs> Take a shit. Anyway, <laughs> and he and he was a breech birth, so that was his head. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he, he he seems to know an awful lot about debauchery, doesn't he? He does. He does. He studied it. Very I'm closely. I'm sure he has. Yes. So uh, Pat Robertson needs to, uh, you know, go go fuck off. Why does everyone keep thinking I'm a troll? Da, 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 da. And tonight we're doing our True or Troll segment. Connie, will you give me the first headline where she's going to try to see if I know my news, no, news nose is working and... Uh, if I can ferret out the real headline from the fake headline. Let's see if you can follow at home, keep your fingers off the Google machine, and see if you can do it in real time with us at a, at, uh, at the same time. All right, Connie, let's uh, hear the first headline. Ka-ka-ka-ka, yes. Uh, Canadian couple holds wedding in front of 1,100 cats. That sounds like a troll story. No, it's true. Oh, really? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm starting off really good tonight. Where's that from, by the way? That is from UPI, Odd News. Oh, really? Oh, God. That's not the only place Oops. I saw it either. Oops, wrong. I'm sorry. I hit the wrong one. <clears throat> yeah, I, I got oh. that. I got that wrong. Okay. All, all right. right. It, in front of okay. all those cats. That's that's that's. that's I, I don't one. think I don't think there are legal witnesses in that case. <laughs> <laughs> well, they might, but they won't say. Yeah. Cats cats won't tell you. Okay. Yeah. Trust me, I know. All right. <laughs> I have enough to eat my body if I die accidentally and just am left alone. So. Oh, geez. All right. Michigan man charged after stripper was paid with fake $100 bill. Okay, now that sounds true. Yes, it's true. Yay, I got one right. All right, I, <laughs> I'm batting 50% now. Woohoo! Donald Trump confuses HPV with HIV. That sounds like a troll. Yes. You're correct. Yay! Where's that from, by the way? Uh, That is from the spoof. Oh, by the way, the previous one about the Michigan man was ABC News Weird Wire. Okay. But uh, that one, the Donald Trump one was the spoof. Okay. So, you're doing good. All right. I got three out of I got three out of four so far. (laughs) Human flypaper, Google's solution to collisions between cars and pedestrians. I, that one's true. I actually came across that one accidentally. That one's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wasn't that weird? I, was I, like, I just looked at it. I was like, God. yeah, that's that's. I don't think that'd be a good idea to keep the people <laughs> attached to the car. As soon as it hits you, you like carry them around. What if you drive away and you're just driving down the street? And, 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 I know. You, that's, how do you get loose? How, how do you get off of that? I mean. It sounds like a Chevy Chase movie or something. It it does. It, it must be hell for the. It would be hell for the mechanic. I mean, you go to. I can't get off the car. I can't work on it. I, I can't lift the hood. That would correct me up. That uh, was the CSI monitor technology section. I I've also seen it a couple other places. So that that would be that would be so fucking bizarre. <laughs> That would be so fucking bizarre. Oh, right. Valedictorian denied walk across stage due to beard. Uh, I would say that's uh, true. Yes, you're correct. Yay! Yay! Uh, where's that, that from? Was, 
Channel 9 news, uh, local news oh, story. Oh, cool. All right. Ex-presidential candidate thinks Tim Tebow should have a statue in the U.S. Capitol. Okay, that's not like a troll. No, that's true. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Yes, that's, that's... Uh, Mark Rubio. Um, oh, Mark Rubio, this okay. On the New Jersey.com Sports Index News. Oh, right, let, me, let me let me get the buzzer here. Uh, I'm I'm wrong <laughs> on that one. Damn, really? They want to put Tebow I in there? Know. Jesus Christ! <laughs> For religious oh. reasons, right? I, I'd be willing to bet. Oh sure. Yeah. 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 Pol- and pol- religious, political. Who can tell the difference? They're in bed. Yeah. Cards Against Humanity sells out of Donald Trump bug out bags. That sounds like that would be true. Yes, it's true, and I'm sad that they're sold out. Where Where's that from? Yeah, there you go. Uh, that was Time.com. Time.com, cool. Yep. There is now a vodka literally made from San Francisco fog. That sounds like a troll. It's true. Oh, my God. <laughs> Weird. That's from uh, Time.com. What they do is they have these nets. Oh, go ahead and get the buzzer. Yeah, Sorry. I got the buzzer. Sorry. <laughs> go All ahead. Right. Uh, th- they get these nets that actually collect water, you know, vapor, uh-huh. water, mist, and stuff. And so they're collecting the fog. And they're making alcohol out of it. And they're making alcohol out of it. So Fog, yeah. fog, fog alcohol. <laughs> and all of the pollution you, in you, California, you, too. You know, I got to tell you, I, <laughs> I live in Wisconsin. There's a bar on every fucking street corner. And I, I literally have a bar less than a uh, less than five minute walk from my house. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> new autism dispute is circumcision a factor? Okay, now that one definitely sounds like a troll. Uh, no, that's true. <laughs> oh, really? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Cir- they're, they're thinking circumcision is the fa- oh Jesus Christ! These people okay, are it's, these it's people are nuts. so fucking bizarre. They're so nuts. Anything they, that comes out that might or that does come out of their mouth. Is a reality or not? It's just so bizarre. Right. It's so, a time.com. Yeah. So the, I'm like, oh, God. Holy crap. Uh, the crazies, right? Yeah. A stroller company made a grown-up version for adults to take a test ride. Okay. That sounds true. Yes, it is true. Yay. Who's that from? Of, that is from HuffPo. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, my God. That's okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm gonna go get a stroller, so I, I'll have. Oh, that'd be funny. I get, I get my daughter to push me around in a stroller. That'd be like, well, how about how old is your baby? Uh, he, he's older than I am. <laughs> what's in that bottle, do you? You don't want to know what's in the bottle. Pope Francis, rich people who exploit the poor are bloodsuckers. Actually, I think I remember hear, hear, hearing him say that, so I think that's true. Yeah, it is true. <laughs> that HuffPo. That's from the HuffPo. All right. HuffPo. And last one. Okay. Last apple one. Pie, yeah. Apple pie bearing image of Christ sells for $65,000 on eBay. I think I actually saw this one. I think that's true. Uh, No, that's a troll. Oh, that's a troll. Maybe that's where I saw it. Was a, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I got that from uh, World News Daily Report. Oh, World News Daily. <laughs> yeah, like anything that comes out of their mouths is tr- anywhere's near the truth. Well, you're 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 seven uh, seven correct and five missed. So you. So I did better than half. Did better than half. That's not only, bad. Only two trolls this week. I was trying to find the most outrageous true stories. So. You you did a good job. Thank you did a good you. job. It was fun. How, how well did you do? Did you do as well as I did or worse or better? Did you get them all? Did you make better than seven? Let us know in the comments below here. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Well, next week, it, because of our weird schedule, I'm not exactly sure if we're going to have a show next week or not. I will announce something on Wednesday, so it'll be on my Facebook page. Or it'll be on the Facebook page, and it'll be on my Twitter feed at least. Uh, if we are going to have a show, if we do have a show next week, uh, it'll be our okay, let's talk segment. What we're talking about, I'm not exactly sure. I, we have some ideas, but if you have any suggestions for what you want us to talk about, put it on our Facebook page and we'll read it, or send us an email at ppapodcast at gmail.com, or call our voicemail, which is 
uh, over here at where it says, uh, whoops, uh, which you can't see my hand. <laughs> my hand doesn't go that far on the screen. It's it's our phone number is uh, 662-709-PPAP or 662-709-7727. And we'll take your suggestions and then uh, we'll maybe we can play them on the air. So, all righty. Uh, we'll see you next week. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. It just the the usually we're pretty sure if we're going to be back or not it just this next week is just it, it's just all kinds of scheduling issues so uh we'll see you then this has been packard pokes at and we just poked at your news and that's around